Twas the night before Christmas, and all through the house, not a beer was being drinking, except for old Jenny. Welcome back to Brews with Peck. Happy December, happy Christmas Eve. How the hell are you? You good? I'm good. I'm about to drink this beer I got, you know, from El Segundo Brewer Brewery, I believe it is. El Segundo Brewing Company. Um, they are out of, I believe, El Segundo. I should have looked that up right before. Yep. Just want to make sure. Some, sometimes they, they get tricky on you, but anyway, uh, yeah. Christmas Eve with this thing from, it's called Old Jetty. It's a 2022 version from El Segundo Brewing. Um, what it says about it, uh, there are but a few moments in life when the slightest whiff or sip of a libation causes one to pause a moment and thank their lucky stars they've, they're a beer drinker. We'd like to th think Old Jetty Barley Wine fits that bill. Its strength is only surpassed by not just its beauty, but also by the craftsmanship behind it. And while maturing in a barrel for 12 months, that's right, 12 months, may seem like an eternity to the eager, as El Segundo's most awarded beer, this little-known showstopper is not only worth the wait, but makes you consider perhaps perfection can be achieved. Aged in whiskey casks. There you go. Um, this one is, I'm just going to do a nice big ring, 13.4 on the Richter. Big boy. Um, yeah, it's a, you know, it's in the style of English barley wine, apparently, on Untapped. Uh, so far, only 10 ratings, but already uh, 4.38 out of 5, so people are liking this one. Uh, you know, this is this year's version, um, but yeah, I'm expecting notes of, that I usually get from barley wines, probably some toffee and caramel, maybe maybe uh, some, some heat. We'll see, but hopefully you're enjoying your Christmas Eve. Uh, you know, I got Buddy behind me, of course, Coach Prime, and let's pour this. Get get yourself something to drink. Uh, do me that favor as you get yourself something to drink. Please hammer that like button. I really appreciate you. And if you haven't already subscribed, especially on this uh, phenomenal Christmas Eve, please subscribe. Much love. Let's begin. Um that all the way at the top and yes I'm using my bruise with back glass not a not a snifter snifter so you it's still gonna be just fine um, okay so yeah I think I got this at handy market in Burbank for I think it was like ten dollars a can um, you know so yeah I'm expecting uh, you know big things from this don't always have barley wines on here so uh, let's get to it or let's get to the sniff first Yep, already smelling a nice whiskey rounded caramel to it. Smells smells delicious. Happy happy Christmas Eve. No words or emotions. Santa Claus. So far, first sip uh, goes down nice and easy. I'm sure as you get about maybe this far down, it, it might it might start to be a little bit more, you know, more per sip on you as far as not, um, I mean, I was anticipating the hell out of this, so th that, that first sip went down real nice. But, no, yeah, I like wrote some, I feel like I'm getting roasted malts in there along with kind of the, the edged caramel uh, whiskey aging. Um... If I didn't know the percentage on this whiskey barrel aged barley wine, I probably would have guessed like 11% or something like that. I don't think I would have guessed 13.4. I mean, that is a very, you know, just random number. But anyway, um, obviously not a whole lot of head because of the barrel aging. Uh, but yeah, really nice drinkable caramel whiskey so far. Uh, maybe with some roasted roasted malts toffee accent. Um, all right. And pour the rest in. There you go. Check it out. Barley wine style ale aged in whiskey casks. Sounds delicious. Okay. Off 140 Main Street, you can go to El Segundo Brewing to check it out, if they still have some. So, alright, um, I'm 
gonna sip a little down. That was my first impression. Uh, mouthfeel is probably. Not that big. So far, I'd say it's like a medium 40, 40 out of 100 mouthfeel. Uh, but it does. We'll see it as more sips go down if it starts to feel bigger. That's what I was trying to say. Boom. Um, hold that. Hold that note. Uh, dr drink your beer. All right. Let's finish this thing. So. Um, he filled all the stockings with, with beer, then turned with a jerk, and laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod up the chimney he rose, he sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim, ere he drove out of sight, happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Enjoy your beer. Um, all right, so... Let's figure that's uh, just watching Clark Griswold, you know, movie, you know, sing or uh, let's sing, uh, read that to his kids. Figured I'd throw a little bit of that in there, a little, little, little Christmas magic. I'm gonna get my bonus, not the Jelly of the Month Club. Tell you, tell you that right now. <sighs> Tie my boss up. All right. So, uh, you know, I. <laughs> I saw, uh, I, I usually, I've, I've got away from uh, wanting to say what other people think of it, but I did find uh, one person on Untapped said, uh, tasty as always, toffee and a tad boozy. Goes good with a blueberry donut. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. I don't know, uh, you know, burnt burnt caramel uh, whiskey that goes good with a donut. Maybe I'll have to try that, a blueberry donut, yeah. I had my wife try this uh, at the break. Um just thought it kind of tasted caramel and like some uh, mold wine. Um, it's hard for me to remember what that tastes like exactly, but I did when I smelled the can. I feel like I got like a little bit of like very subtle cinnamon and like cardamom, uh, if you will. Um, just a little, just a little spice, but not much. Uh, so there you go. But you know, as, as, as you can tell, a lot of nice, good complexity to this. Another person said this needed a year to lay down, uh, too boozy. If it's 13.4 and I'm thinking it's like 11, I don't I don't think it needs a year to calm down. That's just me. But, you know, leave in the comments if you would lay, lay this down. I mean, again, it's only two months in the can, but aged, you know, a year in the cask. So, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, so that's neither here nor there, but it kind of is here. All right. I just get, when I thought about it, Literally just burnt caramel, rounded whiskey sweetness, some nice 11% tasting booze. Um, yeah, that's that's the big notes from this. I, I mean, definitely digging it. Um, I should drink barrel-aged barley wines more often, as my buddy Pete says, but now I'm realizing more, more and more I should. So, on this Christmas Eve, from Stellar down to Hell No. And let's leave the Hell No out on Christmas Eve. Let's just, you know, from Stellar down to, let's say, Reasonable. I'm going to give this, wow, you know, by the way, El Segundo uh, Brewing, please send me more beers. We'd we'll love to try more. Um, maybe Christmas gift, huh? To Santa Beck from you, Santa El Segundo. Um, so, hmm. One more. This is these are tough. You know, I'm I'm really liking this one. I like I like the burnt burnt caramel. I like I like where the booze is at. Stellar. Now again, not the best best beer I've ever had, but it it's slipping into that ninety seven out of a hundred. Uh, I think it's I think it's a great tasting beer. I think I think the, the the nice rounded sweetness going with the burnt caramel is nice, like really nice. And I'm gonna have to try it apparently sometime with a blueberry donut. So anyway, let's uh, let's let's end this. Hopefully you're enjoying your Christmas Eve. Uh, really appreciate y'all joining me this year. Uh, well, you know we've still got some days before the end of the year, but uh, really appreciate you guys. You know watching all my videos and all that. Uh, and on that note, please uh, press the like button and like and subscribe. And we'll see you tomorrow on Christmas. Peace to your family.